All right, guys, welcome back. This time, selective seating. Okay, so what do I mean by selective seeding? I mean selecting the seeds that you offer next year. Okay, if you have a set of plants that are obviously uh, doing better than other ones and have the general uh, flavor and all that that you want, you know, all the desired traits that you want, that's the one that you want to keep seeds from. Here's a really good example. Okay, so these would be an average amount of growth. This would be normal for zucchinis, right? Very, very clear, normal growth, <laughs> okay? This one right here, also normal growth. It's about the same size as the other two, right? They were all planted the same, si same time. They're all seeded at the same time, right? But this guy is a monster, right? This is what we're taking seeds from. Ah, stand up. Right, so you have that normal size one and a large one. We're not taking seeds from that one. We're taking seeds from that one, all right? This one right here is going to be definitely our seed producer. It's already starting to produce fruit. Um, it's doing drastically better than any other of our uh, zucchini, which you can see over there. And obviously, I have another project going on, which will be another video. That's actually Cheyenne's project, so she'll probably do that one. But uh, don't ah uh, me. <laughs> It's, it's your project. You're, You're supposed to be doing it. You're making me do it. Of course I'm making you do it. It's but not my project. But yeah, so average growth, right? We're taking the big one. Here's another really clear example, right? All of these were planted from seed at the same time, right? So you have one that's not doing well, one that's doing average, one that's doing really well. So you take from the one that's doing well. Okay, there you have it. Super easy, okay? Take seeds from the plants that are doing the best and that have the traits that you want. If you have a average plant that's giving you a lot of fruit, take from that one. If you have a uh, plant that happens to give you fruit with a taste that's a little bit different that you like, like say uh, cucumbers that happen to be sweet, or tomatoes that are less acidic, more sweet, and are a larger size, you know, something where it has a little bit different variation, selectively plant that one next year all right and then of those take the one that's that's has the traits that you like and your plants will get better and better and, and more and more the way you want them right anyways guys richard the awesome here awesome homestead i'll see you guys tomorrow have a good one